Hello everyone. Thank you TEDx for having me here. I remember one of the most famous dialogue from the movie Gladiator. No guts, no glory, and no glory, no story. Behind every story there is a multiple failures, lots of hardship, lots of struggle. We humans are specifically built to do multiple skill set with multifaceted programming we humans are built in a such a way to overcome any challenges that has been thrown at us whatever might be the challenge we need to understand our own potential and most important thing is we need to be ready to come out of the comfort zone because my friends nothing grows in this comfort zone one thing that is constant in life and that is change this change is inevitable and my dear friends in this change curve you are either a creator of this change or a victim of this change and i dr pravin shetty would like to be at the top of this change curve so think about yourself on which side you have to be do you want to be a creator or you want to cry or as a victim no never i would always like to be a creator of this change and throughout my life i had always fight or worked upon to change something in reality and to fight between the myth and the truth because my dear friends in our day to day or in our life there is always an instance where there is myth of today it becomes truth of tomorrow like any story there is a journey and for me the journey started in the tier 3 cities of india and like million dreams i also thought of becoming and a specialist doctor or to pursue something in the field of medicine so i gave my entrance in way back in 1992 but as i thought that i will become a doctor but the god has some other plan and i didn't secure a great marks so instead of getting into the medicine what i thought ki okay let me try with engineering so trust me i went to the engineering college in it and in industrial technology or something and that is like way 1992 and i went there for 2 3 month and then i thought ki no engineering is not my cup of tea so this is not what i want in my life to do and the subject of maths physics it is like way beyond my understanding so no i don't want to do this so then fortunately i got a uh, secured admission in one of the prestigious dental college so then i thought ki why not try dentistry say if not mbbs let me become an bds so that's how my journey started in the field of dentistry and today i am standing in front of you as an orthodontist so i am an orthodontist by profession and it's an unique science which deals with biology and mechanics so orthodontist is in together like a doctor engineer an artist and it's an subject which deals with correcting smiles or creating beautiful smiles so you you had know about if you know about orthodontics we deal with creating beautiful smile with the help of braces i think you might have seen your colleague your friends someone from your family your elder or younger brother they might be having the braces moving around with the metallic smile so that's an beautiful subject so looking at this graph where i would like to explain that india being a 1.4 billion population with 75% of population are undergoing or having some form of oral disease of malocclusion and the amount of orthodontic cases been started in india is near about 20 lakh that is near about 0.2% in relation to the population so that's a huge gap and within this orthodontic treatment 
the most of the people they undergo the braces treatment so the main reason for this mismatch is definitely the patients are very reluctant to show off their braces awareness is an key factor because nobody is aware of their underlying malocclusion and even though they are aware they know there is an only one form of appliance available for them and that is braces so what as a doctor i had offered to them definitely i hone my skill in cad cam technology in reverse engineering and in 3d printing and i got myself trained in the best of the technology in india and outside of indian india with the motto of providing an affordable solution to entire people who wants to seek orthodontic treatment and that's why i invented or innovated my first patented product that's an invisible braces and with this what i solved is definitely i given an option to all those who don't want to show off their braces but as it is been said that every product or every innovation need to have a great need and demand so without great need and demand this innovation is of no use so most important thing for any innovation or any innovator is to understand the product and market fit so whether there is a need whether your product is simple it's in scalable and it's easy to use without these three thing there your product will never fly out so that's a most important thing that we need to understand so this is what gave birth to aligners and that's the tutsi it's our baby what we conceptualized over the period of time so these aligners are removable appliances and if you see in india in the braces and in relation to the braces it is like less than 1 lakh cases starts every year so it's and very minuscule amount of cases been done with aligners and why because nobody is aware and nobody knows about this but this appliance is amazing appliance where nobody can see the patients are wearing the braces it's absolutely less painful less clinical appointment hygienic comfortable and most important technologically led so i collaborated with my four friends with the motto and objective of providing invisible teeth straightening solution to the entire indian population so what we done is use the best of the 3d technology and get got the image acquisition at the patient's convenience patient comfort at the doorstep and from there all the image the in the digital format it comes to our central office where our the team of doctors engineers they do the virtual setup smile plan and then there is a live session of doctor orthodontist talking to the patient making them understand this plan making them understand the changes the before and after how they will look after the course of treatment and once the patients or the the patient is agreed with this then the entire product is made in one of our 3d printing lab and to mention we are having one of the best 3d printing us fda approved lab and then we ship it to the patient patient visit our centers to get the treatment with our orthodontist so what we had done we provided million dollar smiles to the billions of people without social stigma and set them free so what we changed we changed the way to do orthodontic treatment we changed the way the people pursue the braces as the modality of orthodontic treatment instead of braces we started offering aligners but the story of tutsi started way back in during the covid times where everyone was confined in their four walls in their home so what we decided at that point of time that instead of patient coming to us we'll go to the patient and we will offer that solution so now during that time i still remember in 2019 when the covid covid hit so we provided the scanning facility to the patient sitting at home an entire digital acquisition of the patient's images records files we got it there 
and from the patient's house we, we shifted or transferred the, all the file to our central office and we started designing the patient smile plan and patient design and design all the plan manufacture the aligners in a, in one of the biggest 3d printing facilities what we are developing in, in india that's in mumbai and provided the entire orthodontic treatment remotely monitoring by the expert orthodontist and whenever the patient wants over the period of 3 4 month we connect them to our center so that's how we created an entire a different digital clinical ecosystem where the patient can sit at their residence go for the treatment get the scan done and we make all the plans and send it to them so what we done we had given a million dollar smile to billions of people without any social stigma and set them free so as a topic of breaking barriers so as an individual what i have done is definitely being a doctor don't want to be an engineer but entered into the subject of engineering like 3d printing reverse engineering and used most of the 3d technology software designed all the uh, smile plans and all the thing trained myself in the subject which was never closer to my heart but it's been rightly said man proposes and god disposes so i wanted to be a doctor but fortunately or unfortunately over the period of time i had been pushed into a subject of engineering where being a doctor i become a master in the subject of 3d printing and reverse engineering and the 3d software so next what came to me is an entrepreneurship so now i play a role of doctor engineer and entrepreneurship but this journey of entrepreneurship is tough because you need to think like an entrepreneur you can't think like a simple engineer or a doctor because definitely as an entrepreneur we need to think we need to innovate and we need to strategize because as a doctor i had created the product the product is giving amazing result and the product accepted by entire population but then is it enough no it's not enough because this product need to be reached or it to it need to be marketed to entire indian population and that's a huge challenge to create demand because anything where the demand creation is there the message need to be reached to the entire end to end ecosystem people need to be aware of this product and there is a absolutely need need to be created amongst people's mind so that's why we strategize and we thought about what is the time for all this product and once the time is been created or the time is been understood the next important thing is how you are going to execute your plan so execution is very important and after execution the most important thing or the most important challenge what we see or what i see is to evolve over the period of time you can't stay at the same point over the period of the next 2 years or the 5 years you need to keep on evolving so that's why i always put this like you need to think you need to innovate you need to strategize and then execute and evolve that's very important because in my understanding most of the people we have or you can you can think about anyone there is a dream everyone has a dream but for any dream there has to be a vision and this vision need to be executed without execution all vision or all dream is just an hallucination so execution is the key in everyone's life and there shall be great barriers for us in life but if we know how to reach our destination or our will to do hard work with great intents we can break any barriers thank you everyone